Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, you know, the vet said that Journey will not live a long life. More than likely, Journey will not live a long life, my friends. And as hard as it is to say that, it's we, we already know this. So the vet said, instead, help her to live a quality life. If she can't live a long life, then help her to live a quality life. And that has become my goal. Why am I feeling emotional right now? Because I'm so proud of her for being able to do this. It broke my heart watching that last video with all the little goats running around and playing. And Journey stood right there and looked up at them. Look at her, y'all. Look at the goat moose. <laughs> She's making goat moves. So this morning, I've come out to uh, open a couple of boxes, some gifts and goodies, if you will. And, uh, of course, all the goats come to join me, the baby goats. But I feel really bad for Journey. You know, Journey was born with a disability and she is not able to do the same thing that the other goats do and i was noticing a while back that while all the baby goats were jumping and playing all over the hay journey just kind of like walks along the side of it and looks up at them and smiles so today i'm going to try something and i'm not apologizing even though I know a lot of y'all are going to be mad at me. Boy, you're going to be mad at me. I don't care. I'm going to give Journey an experience. Baby girl, you and me are about to climb on some hay. Yeah, I don't really have a really good place to put her. I think we have more space right about there. This is the spot where I'll let her stand. There we go. Now, I'm going to put her facing this direction. So her nub leg is on the inside. That's the side that she leans to. So if she needs to lean, oh my gosh. If she needs to lean, she can lean into that other roll of hay. Uh, that's pain on her ear, you guys. Just ignore the pain on her ear. What do you think, baby? You're on the hay. What do you think, sweet girl? You're on the hay. Look at you up there like a big girl. She doesn't look scared, folks. She just seems to be unsure of how she got up there. And now she wants to know, can she go higher? Sweetie, you're a goat. You're a real goat. Look at you like a real goat. You want to walk around? Can you walk to me? Come on. Can you walk to daddy? Are you nervous? Let me move this little string out of the way. We don't want nothing to trip her up. Okay. You want to walk to daddy? <laughs> what do you think? She just, guys, see, this is a really neat thing. She is so unsure. There she goes. That's a good girl. I got you. I got you, baby. I got you. I got you. Oh, boy. Just to sit there for a minute. Look at this. Okay, now her little nub is sliding. Her nub is sliding. She's trying to sit down. <laughs> okay. You got to stay. You got to keep yourself pushed up against the other roll, baby. That's the only way this is going to work out. We're not going to go any higher than this, folks. I'm going to stand right here. And just in case she begins to slip, Daddy will swoop her into his arms. You have to believe me on that one. And even though I would like to see her try to walk along, I'm not going to make her. You want to come down? Oh, boy, look, y'all. Look look at the, the, the way she's doing her neck. She's a goat, goat. She's a real goat. Journey's real goat. Get a picture. <gasps> she is turning around on there. Can you do it? Oh, boy. <laughs> hey, you know, the vet said that Journey will not live a long life. More than likely, Journey will not live a long life, my friends. And as hard as it is to say that, it's we, we already know this. So the vet said, instead... Help her to live a quality life. If she can't live a long life, then help her to live a quality life. And that has become my goal. Why am I feeling emotional right now? 
Come on, I'm so proud of her for being able to do this. It broke my heart watching that last video with all the little goats running around and playing. And Journey stood right there and looked up at them. Look at her, y'all. Look at the goat moose. <laughs> She's making goat moves. If you don't know goats, you don't know how they move. You might not recognize what she's doing. She's not stumbling and falling, y'all. She's doing her head. All she can do, all she can do to make and mimic goat-type moves. I'm so... Oh, Lord. All she can do to mimic real goat-type moves is stuff with her neck and her head. And that's what she's doing right now. She's doing goat moves. Good girl. Look at you. Look at you. Such a good girl. And, um, oh boy. Oh boy. I would like to go get Sissy to play with her, but if I don't want to leave her. So I'm not going to do that. Look at you, baby. <laughs> Such a big goat. And a really special girl. Look at her. So I chose this part of the hay because there's a little bit more of a ledge here. A little bit wider ledge. It gets pretty narrow along through there. And of course, I've never moved my bucket from where I've always hung them. So I kind of have to squeeze myself in there. Hey, and as you know, Lester, hey, that COVID-19 or that COVID-15... <laughs> Those extra pounds you gain during quarantine is real, folks. Let me just say it's real. Look at you. You are a real goat doing real goat stuff. Yes, you are a sweet girl who's a real goat. And I am so proud of you. Oh, no. Here comes trouble. Hey, guys, look who's on the hay. Journey. <laughs> I got to walk. Oh, boy, she's trying to go over there to them. She is trying to walk over there to them. Now, this is a part of the hay that worries me because there's not much of a ledge here. I'm going to walk right along beside her. Um, I remember when I was teaching school. So as a school teacher, you have to go through what they call a semester of um, it's like an internship student teaching and so they put me for about six weeks of that semester in a special needs classroom and and what a neat experience to, at first guys i've never uh, been around and and worked with special needs kids and they assigned me to one little guy named roy who was in a wheelchair and uh I can't, I, I don't even think I should begin to tell you all that was wrong with Roy because I don't even know exactly, but Roy was wheelchair bound and he was obviously had some different kinds of special needs from the physical kind to the other kinds. And, um, but I'll tell you what Roy knew. He knew how to laugh. So one day uh, we took a field trip. The special needs classes went on lots of field trips, little life skills class, you know, where they teach kids, you know, how to cope and how to manage you know, real life. And so we took Roy and all these kids to uh, Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. I don't know if y'all have those in other parts of the country or the world. But it's a big pizza place. Careful, I can't watch you both. I'm not worried about Chip. Oh, is he going to try to come headbutt with this journey? Man, he's like, hey, how'd you get up here? And he's impressed. Look, he's so impressed. But, um... I remember all the kids, they, at that point, they used to have these big old tunnels and this big room full of these little balls. They used to have them at the McDonald's Playlands, the balls, you know, all the little plastic balls. And Roy had never had a chance to get into the balls. So uh, with the teacher's permission, there was nothing weird about it, guys. They actually allowed me to pick up Roy out of his wheelchair and I carried him inside that tunnel And we went inside the um, ball pit. 
It may seem like nothing to you guys, a ball pit. So it's just, you know, you've seen your kids do it and you've seen your grandkids do it. But to Roy, man, for a kid that has had never had anyone pick him up and take him into the ball pit. He couldn't move around when he was in there. He was just kind of, he just laid there, right? But his hands could move. And kids were jumping and playing all around him. And Roy felt for that, for those few minutes. <laughs> Look at Journey. I'm so proud of her. He felt like a real kid. I don't know what's wrong with me this morning. Anyway, all I'm saying is I'm really proud of Journey. She's having an experience of a lifetime. <laughs> and see, Rox is going to help protect her. Rox is going to lay right there so Journey can't fall off the front. See? <laughs> and Chip's going to stand right there so Journey can't fall off. And daddy's right over here. So all of us are doing our part. There we go. All of us are doing our part to take care of Journey. I know y'all are wondering where Sissy's at. Sissy! Sissy! You have to excuse the barn. Uh, I'm going through some clean up. Oh boy, you got to fall, baby. I'm cleaning some stuff up now. Empty in the back of the side by side. Ellie goes down for me. He's really good. Ellie goes down to the road and brings all the packages up and puts them in the back of the side-by-side. -side. And what I do in the afternoons, once it cools off, I'll come outside and kind of open a few boxes. And then I, I have places where I stack stuff and I store stuff and all of the certain, some foods go into barrels, some foods I can stack or snacks I can stack right there. Uh, the medicines go into a special spot. And we have a place for everything. Look at that. Look at that face at Nick. Whoa, she's a special girl. Yo, she's special. And um, sometimes, though, when I have a really busy afternoon, I don't have time to get out to the side-by-side. -side. So <laughs> it's funny. You may have seen pictures and videos where that side-by-side -side will be stacked to literally to the top of the little, the little roof right there of boxes. And so I realize, okay, here we go. I got to go do it. So I'll come out early, like, like today. Oh, careful, love. Look how fast she's going. Look at this girl. Wow. You're doing it, baby. You are good. Man, she's good. And you guys are jealous that she's doing so good. You might be the fastest goat we got out here, uh-huh. You might be the fastest goat we got on the hay. Yep. And uh, so I've been emptying boxes this morning. And then I just happened to notice Journey was looking up at me. And I was like, you know what? She needs a chance to play and experience this. <laughs> Don't you go right over the edge, love. Do not go right over the edge. Oh, I'm proud of you. You want me to get you down now? She look, she's looking down like she might want to come down. So if I got, I'm going to go ahead and pull her off. Give me just a second. I'm going to stop my camera and go ahead and pull her off and then see what she does. Actually, I'll keep the camera rolling. I can do this. Ugh, there we go. All right. You're down, baby. You did it. You did it. Such a special girl. Mm, I'm so proud of you. For being such a special girl. I've loved you so much. I've always loved you so much. <laughs> oh boy she's looking back up there she is looking back up there she's like daddy need a lift